If you study the Fibonacci sequence, you will find that it forms a 60-digit repeat cycle that continues into infinity. Mathematicians have known about the 60-digit pattern for some time. Here are those 60 digits. But what nobody had thought about doing was taking these 60 digits and placing them around the circumference of a circle like you would do with the 60 seconds on a standard clock. It seems like such an instinctive idea, but nobody had thought about it until I came along. The true answers to the universe, like Einstein's E equal MC squared, are always simple enough for anyone to understand. What I found was truly incredible. The Fibonacci 60-digit repeat cycle is creating a perfect human clock. As you can see here, the zeros and the fives conform perfectly with the 12-hour marks on a standard analog clock. But that is only the tip of the iceberg. You will notice that the zeros Mark out the four cardinal points on a compass. I immediately knew that I had found something very important. The Fibonacci series, mathematics itself, was creating a perpetual clock that was counting out 60 units of time for all eternity. I knew that I had found some kind of key, but I didn't realize at the time just how much more was still waiting to be revealed. I decided to use this 60 digit circle as a key or a building block and insert it into larger geometric patterns. The obvious next step was to create a Venn diagram using two of these building blocks of time. If you connect the circles at their nuclei, you create a very famous and sacred symbol known as the Vesica Pisces. The results are mind-boggling. As soon as I connect two of these circles of time together, I start to generate the number 360. We use 60 units in our clocks and 360 degrees on a compass. I was stunned. The Fibonacci sequence was not only creating 60 units of time, but it was also generating the 360 degrees we use in our physical universe. I felt that familiar shiver run up my spine, reminiscent of that night in May 2013. What was happening here? What was being revealed to me? And how? To me it seemed as though the physical 360 degree world was being created using building blocks of time. I was hooked. As someone who has always been a seeker of knowledge with a keen interest in the origins of our universe, I had to know more. Not only does this 60 digit cipher encode for all Fibonacci numbers, but it also encodes all Lucas numbers. If you study the Lucas series, you will find that the last digit in each number from the Lucas series forms a pattern of 12 numbers that, like the Fibonacci series, also repeat into infinity. Here is a list of the first 24 numbers in the Lucas series. As you can see, the last numbers form a pattern that starts to repeat after the first 12. And, if we look at our Fibonacci cipher, the 12 Lucas numbers are magically encoded into the cipher. Right there. This is of course absolutely incredible and cannot be random coincidence. But that is not all. Aside from the Fibonacci series and the Lucas series, there is another very famous set of numbers. These are the prime numbers. Every prime number greater than 10 will always end in either a 1, a 3, a 7 or a 9. Here is a list of all the prime numbers under 1000. As you can see, 
they all end in either a 1, 3, 7 or a 9. And once again, if we look at our 60 digit cipher, you can see that the prime numbers have a special place around the four cardinal points or zeros. This cipher is absolutely incredible. The intelligence that designed this and built it into the very fabric of our universe is beyond human comprehension. You would have to be a fool to believe that this cipher is pure coincidence. It codes for all Fibonacci numbers, all Lucas numbers, and all prime numbers. And yet, that is still not all that is hidden in this cipher. If we take seven circles and connect them all at their nuclei like this, we get a very famous sacred geometrical pattern known as the seed of life. Now, amazingly, if we use seven of our Fibonacci circles or building blocks, this seed of life starts to generate incredible magical flowers using only numbers. Mathematics is making flowers of numbers out of a design we have always known as the seed of life. Look at this. In this design, there are three flowers embedded or encoded into the seed of life. The outer flower shown in pink consists of 108 numbers and adds up to a total of 540. The middle flower shown in orange, consists of 108 numbers and adds up to 540. The inner flower, shown in green, also consists of 108 numbers and adds up to 540. This is the kind of perfect symmetry that physicists have been searching for in nature. The programming involved here is so exceptional that it cannot be random. This is clearly the work of an intelligence far beyond our capability. An intellect that built this matrix into the very fabric of our universe. But, it's not only that the flowers are all magically made up of 108 numbers, or that they all add up to 540 that is astounding. The sacred history of these numbers themselves are profound. We will look at the significance of these numbers later. For now, you need to try and comprehend what this means. These flowers of numbers are literally growing out of the seed of life. Now we come to the most sacred of all geometrical patterns known as Metatron's cube. Metatron is said to be the highest of all the archangels and is often referred to as the scribe of God. If you take 13 circles and arrange them in this pattern and then connect them all at their nuclei, you get Metatron's cube. This is a very famous symbol and can be found throughout all of human history. But more importantly, this hexagonal pattern appears everywhere in nature. Incredibly, if we create Metatron's cube using the Fibonacci 60 digit cipher, as seen here, this pattern starts to generate a 216 digit matrix. The sum of these 216 numbers is 1080. Remember the seed of life was generating flowers of 108 numbers that added up to 540. Here we have 216 numbers that add up to 1080. The relationship between the seed of life and Metatron's cube is directly proportional. All the forces in nature, like gravity and electromagnetism, are all directly or inversely proportional to each other. Here in Metatron's cube, at the heart of which lies the Star of David, we have a matrix of 216 numbers and in the Kabbalah it is believed that God's secret name has 216 letters. 
In the ancient world, numbers were used as letters. I cannot spoon feed all of this information to you. You need to open your eyes and do some research. All the information is freely and readily available. Go and find out who Metatron is and where all these sacred numbers appear. I myself have done numerous videos on this subject. You have to want to believe in something greater or else I cannot help you. You need to understand why we need God and you have to accept God as the supreme force behind all of creation. If you think your president, whether he or she is black or white or gay or straight, is going to save you and you want to give your politicians and priests your freedom and worship, then I cannot help you. This universe is not a place. It only exists in time. You cannot leave the universe to go to heaven. You cannot use the 216 matrix as a key to escape reality. You need to accept God. You need to understand why we need God. And you need to speak the sacred hidden name of God out loud. You need to share the 216. Not in order to save yourself, but in order to usher in the kingdom of God and to change this world for everyone. The gates to heaven are doors inside your mind. You need to use the 216 key to open those doors. 